Hi Eli and Maddie, Daddy here again. Uh, we're still in quarantine here. Um, it's easily past the 20 day mark by now, but I'm trying not to keep track. Um, so today's story, or stories in this case, uh, from my bonkers life. Uh, I suppose the first one could be a near death experience I had in Iceland, the country, not the shop, um, I, which I was touring. Uh, with uh, my then partner, who's still like almost all my ex-partners, a very good friend. Anyway, she and I went to uh, this extraordinary place called Gulfos, which is essentially three waterfalls stacked on top of each other. And each one is pretty spectacular in its own right. And then the water falls down three and goes into this huge lagoon at the bottom with a rocky kind of outcrop around it. It's a spectacular place, um, which you really must visit one day. Anyway, so I'm wearing slight... This is winter. Uh, it's very, very... Up, well, it's called Iceland for a reason. Um, I was wearing slightly silly and inappropriate uh, foot attire. And as I'm walking from the coach towards the edge to lean on the, the barrier, which is just a rope, to look down over, I begin to slide. And, of course, there's nothing between me and the single rope barrier. So in that few seconds of slipping towards the edge, I, I, you know, considered my life and decided that it was okay. Um, I was happy. Um, this was before you were born, of course. Um, that changes everything when you have a child. I decided I'd done a lot of good stuff. And, yeah, I was fine to, to go if this was the way I was going to go. Uh, and then I hit the barrier, which, although it was only one single rope, was frozen solid and nearly knocked a life out of me. And I understood why they didn't need more than one rope, because a rope frozen solid is like a brick wall. So that was an interesting thing, and of course I survived to tell the tale. And uh, another near-death experience actually occurred, and one has to laugh about these things, obviously, um... And I'm not religious, obviously, so I'm not scared of death. Um, I think it's healthy to have an irreverent attitude about such things. Um, yeah, the other thing occurred just before Christmas last. We're in April now. Uh, early December. And I was laid in bed, I think it was about two in the morning. I've never been a particularly talented sleeper, shall I say. Um, I do my best, but ever since childhood I've not been a great sleeper. When I hear a fire alarm go off downstairs in my uh, elderly uh, neighbour's flat, so I think, well, after a minute or so, I think, well, maybe I should go and have a look. Uh, so I go out on my landing. I'm the top of the building. I'm on the second floor in the English system, not the American system. Um, and um, I don't see any smoke or certainly don't hear anything but there's a kind of something doesn't feel right so I thought better be safe than sorry so I came back in my front door and walked into my bedroom to call the fire brigade this is a distance of approximately three plus meters or so so the time it took me to come in call the fire brigade and then go back out again onto the landing would have probably in total taken me 20 seconds maximum maybe even less. Um, and in that time, I came out and the whole landing was split level with smoke. So that was quite alarming. But I'm telling you this because it has a very funny ending. I had to drop to my knees and crawl out down the stairs and out the front of the building because they told me to do that. Um, but it has a funny um, uh, epilogue because obviously I was in my dressing gown. So they put a huge tin foil sheet over me and the other residents of the building, all of whom were okay in the end. And, of course, I'm uh, concerned about the tortoises, or, well, our tortoises. And um, the funniest moment, everyone had to laugh, despite the fact we were freezing our bollock off uh, in the middle of the night. I by this point it was three, three plus, maybe four, four o'clock in the morning. Anyway, it was three burly firemen coming out, each one carrying one of my tortoises, 
looking very worried that these tiny little cute animals were going to bite them um, when they'd just been hauling heavy equipment in to fight a raging fire. So that was an interesting story and uh, more tomorrow. But for today, stay safe. Lots of love, as always, from Daddy. And, yeah, hope to see you soon. Mwah.